Welcome back, everyone. Indiana slowly opening back up, really still dealing with the virus. We've been checking in on a regular basis with Dr. AJ Ponyugati, a hospitalist at St. Francis Hospital, who's on the front lines of the fight against COVID-19. He's actually working right now, joining us live from Greenwood. Doctor, thank you so much again for being with us. We sure do appreciate it. Thanks, Angela, for having me. Absolutely. Let's start with the Memorial Day weekend. One of the, the videos that really went viral was that Lake of the Ozarks video. We're going to show part of it for maybe those that didn't see it. Just all of the swarms of people in some places, not social distancing and other places they are. What did you think of kind of what you saw and how people are handling reopening? Well, while it's very encouraging to see that we all are having our life back uh, to a little bit of normalcy, but uh, we all have to know that uh, the virus is not contained yet, and we don't have many tools. Uh, the only tools we have so far uh, is clearly hand washing, face mask, and physical distancing. And I don't think we can force it upon any individual, but it should come from within us, the responsibility uh, of not giving the virus to other people, because we all have to remember one in every three of us, sure. even if we have the virus, we don't have the symptoms. Sure. So we might be giving it to someone who is very dear to us without knowing that we are doing this and in the process spreading the virus. So until the virus is contained or we have a decent uh, vaccine or a medication to, uh, uh, we should definitely follow these guidelines. If you love uh, your country, if you love your economy, if you don't want things to happen again uh, and to learn from the past, it's very important that we continue to follow these guidelines so we all will have better few next years. Otherwise, there's a good chance we have to go back to where we started from. Yeah, we don't want that to happen. I want to talk a little bit about something that you've talked about with us on the, on the show before. We're talking about Plaquenil and hydroxychloroquine. Um, I know that we had talked about it before early on and you had said, hey, we're throwing everything at this virus right now because we didn't know anything really about it. Um, President Trump talked about taking it last week and really the, the media and, and, and a lot of people went kind of crazy about it. Kind of tell us where you stand on that today. It is true. It is true that when we all started, uh, we all uh, used plaque vanilla, uh, but a number of studies, including the last few days, there was a study in Lancet where they observed, uh, where they saw 18,000 people who got plaque vanilla versus 80,000 people who didn't get, especially the people that came to the hospital that are sick enough who needs to be on oxygen or even sicker that has to be on ventilators. When given plaque vanilla, not only did it not help, it actually caused harm or looks like it. But in all fairness to what uh, President Trump has said, he was inferring to, uh, you know, to make it a, another layer of security. What he meant was, is it a, a prophylactic dose? If you look at countries like India, the Indian government has given guidelines to all the healthcare workers to use it prophylactically. For, uh, but so far, no studies have been done in people to take it, whether they are using it as prophylactically or if when we use it in people who don't have much, who are not sicker, is it preventing us from ha getting into more uh, sicker situation or completely preventing it? Those studies have not been done. Even if they, if they're not, if even if they're done, uh, they're not out yet. So definitely, we are not using for sick people. I'm not going to take it. I'm not giving it to my patients. So far, the jury is against it until some miracle happens in the future. And uh, as of now, we're not taking it. I'm out of time. I want to have you back on soon, though, because I know there's a lot of talk about immunity and you have an opinion about that and the different kind of testings. But I have to go. But I'm going to have you come back and talk about that. Thank next you, time. Angela. Absolutely. Um, love to see you, Dr. AJ. Um, I don't know. There's something about him that just makes me feel, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, comfortable and knowing that somebody really smart yeah. is keeping an eye out for all of us. It's 845 and yeah. Jim's talking about it.